It's a new day, yes it is! Welcome back. It is Friday, so that means um, Friday is Theory Day. I'm going to talk about Rise of Skywalker and the pull um, fans. Um, it makes sense to have a franchise this big, have this big of a pull. Everything in media that has been pushed this huge has this big of a pull back. Um, I'm on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see if I can see this score uh let's see opening 22 percent um 100 percent so there seems oh there it is so um critics is a 54 percent um with a count of 447 but the audience score is 86 percent uh, seven, uh, seventy-nine thousand over seventy-nine thousand. Um, so, and I've I've seen this all over social media. People are loving it. People are hating it. I'm gonna, you know, give you my opinion. Read some of the comments that they, these leave on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, Rotten Tomatoes is a little iffy with me. Uh, they had a thing with um, Dave Chappelle's special. It was shut down to. Um, non-critics for like a week or right, three days um, and the critics said don't go watch it it was awful they said don't do it um, and then it was open up to the critics and or to the fans and fans loved it I, I love Dave Chappelle um, he's not afraid to speak his mind he's he's a comedian jokes are jokes if you like the joke then you like the joke if you don't like the joke then you don't have to listen to the joke um, with the Star Wars movies a little more touchy. We have fans that go back to the original trilogy that have fell in love with the books, um, like old canon, you know, stuff like the Old Republic, uh, the adventures with Luke Skywalker after the movies. Uh, then you have the generation who got to see it again when it was revived. Um, then you got along with the prequels who are now mostly hated on um i don't hate the pre prequels i mean if i have to compare it to the rest of it, it kind of felt short i mean the acting was kind of bad at times really bad at times but i you know star wars movies i enjoy star wars movies i'm not a huge fan of the last jedi i do however like the movie i like rises uh, Skywalker. Yes. Um, when I went in, I went in with high hopes, with all the, you know, J.J. Abrams coming back and all the um, stuff that was showing, the trailers. It, it made me hyped. It made me excited. So, yeah, I went in there excited. Um, the film was good. As, as a film, the visual effects were great the sound was great everything was on point um now looking at it again so i was on the high train now looking again it had huge plot holes and it had plot holes due to the fact that the last jedi just completely ignored everything and it has huge plot holes to the original canon um the disney canon not canon you know, back in my day, canon. <laughs> but Disney canon. Um, and some people are just hating on it because it's owned by Disney. I don't I don't see anything wrong with Disney. Um, I know that we think of Disney as this mon money-hungry thing. But they also put out good stuff. Um, I have been a fan of Disney since a child. So... And then to be able to be discussing this now. If it wasn't for Disney, we wouldn't be having this conversation at all. Uh, George Lucas would was done. He wouldn't have done any more films. I know people are saying, well, George Lucas could have done it better. But not really. He wouldn't have done it. Not only wouldn't have, he not have done it, but we wouldn't have got The Mandalorian. Wouldn't be getting um, the TV show Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
we wouldn't be getting all this stuff. Um, hopefully they do the Old Republic movie. That would be good. But um, yeah, we wouldn't be getting Star Wars. And I think that people are mad about that. Because it's been pushed down our throats since, you know, Disney bought it. However, with that being said, um, I have opinion about the way that people are sick and tired of Marvel movies and sick and tired of um, mainstream stuff like Star Wars and Marvel movies and uh, superhero stuff in general and all this stuff. I get that you don't like it. That's okay. But the majority of people do like it. So they're going to keep pumping it out. I enjoy it. However, it's not the only thing out there. It hasn't taken on everything. Like, I, th that's why I don't understand. You act like that that's the only movies you can watch. Um, but that's not true. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, fantastic. Um, there's other good movies that came out. I just watched Six Underground the other day. Uh, ne Netflix? Netflix. Um, with Ryan Reynolds. And, um, what's his name? Michael Bay. That was a good movie. The Quiet Place. That was a good movie. It. That was a good movie. All these movies are coming out alongside these movies. Um, the Kenny Rewards don't even recognize Star Wars. Um, not, not Star <laughs> Don't even recognize the Marvel Cinematic Universe when they go for the Oscars or the Emmys. They're, they're not. So you complain about them being mainstream, but the. Uh, Oscars are mean the mainstream mainstream um, and they're not even recognized so anyways the, my rant about people just hating stuff when when there's other things out there you don't have to you know you don't have to look at a certain thing you can we have choices it's like Xbox versus PlayStation um, I get that I asked <laughs> I'm on another tangent I get asked that all the time Xbox PlayStation both I'm in a decade where I get to choose Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch. I can have all three of them. I can have one of them. I get to choose. I get to choose. Um, if I want to buy Call of Duty, I get to, you know what I mean? There's so much content. In that. Same thing for the movies. Um, Knives Out was a smash. I'm excited for Bad Boys for Life. I cannot wait. I'm more excited about that movie than any of the... Marvel or Star Wars stuff coming out. <laughs> but that's just because it resonates with me. Um, anyways. So looking over some of these comments. It doesn't do anything new. Or even terribly. Um, ow. Itching. Let's see. It doesn't do anything new. But maybe it didn't have to. It should have to be a good enough stick. It's good enough to stick the landing. And it does. See it. And if you compare it to what he had to work with, apparently there's a big thing. J.J. Um, Abrams had a big cut of the movie taken out. It is more than just, you know, the director. Yeah, the uh, producer too. Uh, let's see. There's sense in this film, AJ JJ Abrams, shrinking that world. Everything in this franchise feels like a take back. I don't really agree with that. I want to read some of the mean ones. <laughs> um, some of the plot holes. Um, are ridiculous. Let's let's start with. I'm gonna go with a few. Let's start with Poe. So, in order to uh, tell why he can hotwire something, he has to be a smuggler. Um, but everything in canon, in canon, in this canon, says that he was a resistance pilot fighter. Everything in the canon does. Uh, his father was. Um, they finally come out with a book. It's in between 4 and 5. Finally came out with a comic book in between 4 and 5. Picks off right off where Luke gets his hand cut off. Um, apparently in these comics, 
they meet Poe's father, uh, who is also a fi uh, fighter pilot. So making him a smuggler doesn't make any sense. Saying that you cannot light, you cannot do light speed from or or from a gravity from a planet. And then all of a sudden ignore that and go, yeah, we can. Just because you want to show something really cool. This is what we're talking about. This is what fans who don't like like it and have a legitimate gripe. Not the ones that just don't like it because they don't like it. Um, that was your continuity. Also, you make a big deal about them being able to track through light speed with this device that's on the ship that gets blown up. Now all of a sudden, TIE Fighters have this ability with no explanation. See, people hate stuff that happens with no explanation. And I know those are really cool scenes. They, they could have been done better. Um, escaping off the planet, taking off. Um, it just, oh, so many. What was Palpatine doing all this time? How to get all those people? There's like over 100,000 people on each of those ships. There's 100 ships in the... In the title. Um, I'm not going to go through all these. Angry Joe did a uh, 40 plot holes. You can watch his video. It's really good. I, I do watch the Star Wars theory. I do enjoy the fact that he stands up for what he likes. And the way he likes stuff. Again, I enjoyed the movie. Don't get me wrong. I can take anything apart. It's easy. Um, but I also can understand why people have gripe about the movie. Who aren't just griping about the movie because it's another Star Wars movie. <sighs> okay, I've ran it on long enough. So, bottom line is, yes, it does have plot holes. Yes, I do like it. But this is also coming from a man who absolutely loves Maximum Overdrive. And loved that movie since the first time I've watched it. So, <laughs> that was before it became a cult classic. Like... I enjoy what I enjoy, and you should enjoy what you enjoy. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, go enjoy it, and be happy about it. And don't listen to other people want to tear you down just because. You can have conversations and discussions. I have it with my roommate John all the time about this stuff. <laughs> oh my god, he's a big advocate for this movie, so it's really easy to get him going. But um, other than that, enjoy what you have and there's other outlets of entertainment other than marvel and star wars so that being said i gotta turn this back on <laughs> much love jd out